All right, folks, welcome back. Today is February 20th. I am at uh, my northern out yard. It's about 50 miles south of Kansas City. Here the last couple days, uh, kind of experienced about a six inch snow. Got a few little remnants of the snow left uh, right now. Uh, today I'll be checking their sugar stores and I'm also gonna be putting pollen patties on. Uh, might be a little bit for that, but uh, I don't get up here but about once a month, so I figured I'd do it now and try to get them going. Uh, took the tarp off. Some of the tarp had been blown off from the windstorms we've had over the last couple weeks. Um, got a little respite with some good weather here for a couple days, and then it looks like we're going to have below freezing temperatures most of this week, so the bees really won't be getting out that much. But right now it appears that all the hives are alive. Kind of checked four or five of these. Uh, if you can hear in the camera, the wind's blowing like crazy today. And we're supposed to have high winds the next couple days as well. So let's get in here. Check out a couple of these. What I have are these pollen patties. I uh, purchased them from Man Lake. Last year, I had a box left over, so I just threw them in the freezer to save them. And uh, so we'll be adding those today. And like I said, we'll check out their sugar stores, see how they're doing, if we need to add any sugar. This colony here, I added, added this batch of sugar the last time. So you know, they've taken a little bit of that. And they're still working on the original sugar that I gave them. So right now we'll just <clears throat> kind of put that pollen patty right here in the center. They'll be able to get and eat on that. And that's about all I'm going to do. Pretty quick check. Go on to the next one same thing okay so this hive here uh, I'm gonna have to come back when I don't have my hands full but they've eaten uh, pretty much all the sugar so I'm gonna have to add some on them and then I'll add a pollen patty but a really good close cluster of bees right there look nice and healthy hard to see down in there to see their stores but uh, we'll add some sugar so I won't add a, a pad right now uh, some of these I gotta take the straps off they're kind of tied down to the side so I'll move down here Or to do all this one-handed okay check this one out okay so this colony here they've started to get into the sugar got quite a bit left so sorry about that what I did there just scored the wax paper a little bit that'll allow them to get under that patty a little bit easier throw the foamy back on lid real quick inspections in and out roaches keeping them warm I guess Roaches love bee colonies too, apparently. Okay, this one here, very similar. Take a little bit of sugar, but not a lot. Give them a patty. In this part of the Missouri, we are probably four weeks away from maples 
so maybe three depending on the weather. Uh, where I live uh, near Joplin, we're probably three weeks away. A lot of the buds on the trees have started swollen pretty good down where I live. Uh, this colony here, not as big. Just started taking some sugar. Uh, yeah, with the trees and stuff. You know, typically your maples are first. We're going to have a few willows here and there. Pretty good sized colony. They've eaten a bit of sugar. Got quite a bit left. I'm not going to add any to them. I'll be up here another month if they're looking. I'll add some more at that point. They should have enough to last them another month there. So we get some willows early, you know, followed by maples. Silver maples are first, followed by the reds. <clears throat> and then after that, you start getting into flowers and dandelions and other stuff. So it'll come on, but trying to get these colonies bulked up a little bit as best as possible. Here we get a decent size. A few bees on the lid. With the wind. Just throw that on there. So these are one pound patties. I should be able to chew them up. Hopefully hive beetles won't be a problem. The problem with the around this part of the world you got small hive beetles. Small hive beetles love those protein patties. If the bees can't eat them up quick enough then the beetles get in there and the, they take them over and make a mess. So you really got to watch that where you have uh, small high beetle problems. The beetles will lay eggs in there and you get uh, worms and, well, not really worms, it's the larvae of the beetles. So, you got to keep an eye on that. Uh, dry pollen would probably be a preferred method, but <clears throat> I don't have any of those right now. So, that's kind of what I got to deal with. Anyways, I've got another uh, six or seven hives there with the orange straps. I'll add, check them out and make sure we don't need any more sugar and kind of go from there. Bees right now, on the ones I checked, are looking pretty good. Like I said, we got activity at all 15 entrances. Some better than others. Looks like we got some orientation flights going on right here. So we got some new bees flying around, checking things out. Bee season's about ready to get started. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and uh, if you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. See you in the next video.